Hi, I'm Mark Rentz with Trueball, and hopefully you've had a chance to watch the first video that we did on the new GOAT release, where we showed you how to change it from a hinge to a button and then back again. And I promised you in that video that we'd be doing a second video showing you how the sear is flipped or removed or exchanged. Uh, first of all, I would like to take the opportunity to show you a couple of things that we changed in the last minutes uh, based on a couple of suggestions that Rio had. And first of all, this is the prototype that I used in the first video, and you'll notice that the micro adjust for the hinge mode is just exposed. We've changed it now to where it's, it's covered up with material. It's still there, still in the exact same spot, still works exactly the same way. It just prevents you from being able to hook on that with your loop by accident. The second thing that we changed uh, that will make it a little bit more convenient as far as you just knowing that you're working with the right screw, the screw that is used to convert the release is silver. The other two screws are black. So whenever you're converting the release from hinge to trigger, you're only messing with the silver screw. All right, everything that I'm gonna go over in this video and everything I went over in the first video is gonna be included in the insert card when you buy the release. So it, it's a handy thing, it just comes out, you can maybe throw this in your bag, but it shows exactly step for step exactly how to do everything that I'm gonna show you here. So here is the production model hot off the assembly line. Um, the first thing that you want to do when you're going to flip the sear, you know, first of all, it's in hinge mode because I'm assuming that if you're going to be messing with the sear, you're probably shooting it as a hinge. If not, you need to put it in the hinge mode. So the first thing that you need to do is the sear lock here. Is you need to turn it counterclockwise, releasing that. That way it's free to, to rotate. The second thing, and this is a 564 Allen wrench, you're gonna to wanna to take the micro adjust screw counterclockwise, because it's a left-handed thread, all the way down to the handle. But you wanna count whatever you've got. So I'm gonna go one turn, half a turn, about one and five eighths, one and three quarter turns from all the way down. You need to remember that. That is your personal setting where you like to shoot this release and it'll be pretty darn close when you flip it over to either use the click or not use the click. So now I'm going to turn it clockwise four turns. One, two, three, four. That's giving you room to get the sear in and out. So now I have to flip it over to the other side from the silver and I'm gonna remove this bottom black screw. The top screw holds in the bale. You don't ever really have to mess with that. So I'm going to take out this black screw and this does come Loctited in so the first time you do it it's liable to be a little bit tough. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take a 50 thousandths Allen wrench and I'm going to push that dowel out. It should just come out by hand. So there it is. So now you're going to take the head off now that you've got the dowel out and you're going to flip this thing over and the sear comes on out. If it, if it comes out a little bit tough, just kind of shake it, press this cocking bar a few times, that'll get things kind of moving in there and it'll come on out. I want you to notice that on this sear, it's got dot or dots on one side and no dots on the other. The no dot side is no click. The ones with the dots is the click. If it's got two clicks, two dots, it's a slower click. If it's got one dot, it's our fast click. All right, this was in the, in the click side, so I'm gonna flip it around so that the, the no dot side is sticking up. There's that, that, and that wants to be sticking out of the release. So I'm gonna stick it back in. It's kinda gotta go in at, at like an angle a little bit. So I'm gonna stick that in, and I'm going to help line up the dowel holes with my little 50 thousandths Allen wrench. Okay, it's, it's lined up. So I'm going to take my head and I'm going to put it back on and I'm going to put that dowel pin back in through both of them. I'm going to reinstall the, the black pan head. Make sure it's tight. All right, now it's free to go. Now we want to go back 
we want to turn this counterclockwise the four turns that we turned at the beginning or until it's up against the, the housing and now our personal my personal setting was like one and five eighths out so I'm gonna go one and there's a half and there's about five eighths I'm gonna relock down my sear and that's all there is to it now it will have no it'll have no click on it at all and there you go.